Good day, grade 4 students. Today, we will discuss what are the different types of text. Number one example is descriptive. The author provides many details and the paragraph are the given text. In descriptive writing, the author does not just tell the reader what was seen, felt, tested, smelled, or heard. Rather, the author describes something from their own experience and through careful choice of words. Sample paragraph for descriptive. Two pupils receive awards. Ana Gonzaga and Grace Ramos, both grade 4 pupils of Tandangsora Elementary School, were awarded gold medals for their honesty during the celebration of Buwan ng Wika. The said pupils returned a bag containing 10,000 pesos, a cell phone, and other valuable items to the principal's office. The bag, owned by an American tourist, Golda Prince, was left at a canton when her group visited the school. The children found the bag and immediately brought it to the principal to help them find the owner. Miss Prince was very happy that her bag was returned and praised the children for their honesty. Sample question from the given paragraph. Who were the two pupils who received the gold medal award? A. Clara Santos and Ana de la Cruz B. Ana Gonzaga and Grace Ramos Very good! The correct answer is B. Ana Gonzaga and Grace Ramos Second example of type of text is chronological. The author provides events in order or list steps of a procedure. The events may be organized by time or date by arranging events as a series of steps or by following a list like a structure. Example of chronological type of text, Filipino chicken adobo. First, combine the chicken thighs, vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, peppercorns, and bay leaves in a large pat. Cover and marinate the chicken in the refrigerator for 1 to 3 hours. Second, bring the chicken to a boil over high heat. Lower the heat, cover, and let simmer for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Remove the lid and simmer until the sauce is reduced and thickened and the chicken is tender about 20 more minutes, served with steamed rice. Sample question from the given text. Number 1. What does the text tell us? A. How to cook chicken adobo. B. The different Filipino foods. Very good! The correct answer is letter A. How to cook chicken adobo. Number 2 question. What is the first step in cooking chicken adobo? A. Bring the chicken to a boil over high heat or B. Combine the chicken thighs, vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, peppercorns, and bay leaves in a large pat. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Combine the chicken thighs, vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, peppercorns, and bay leaves in a large pat. Third example of type of text is problem and solution. The author gives information about the problem and tells how it is solved. Sample paragraph for problem and solution. Firstly, transport is responsible for air pollution in particular cars. Nowadays, too many people use their cars, even to go very short distances. Driving fewer miles would decrease the amount of pollution produced by cars. For instance, people could walk cycle or walk to their destination instead. By doing this, 
they would damage the environment less and enjoy cleaner air. Sample question. What is the problem in the given paragraph? A. Air pollutants cause air pollution. Or B. Transport is responsible for air pollution. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Transport is responsible for air pollution. What is the solution in the given paragraph? A. People could walk, cycle, or walk to their destinations instead. Or B. Continue using cars in short distances. Great job, Southlanders! The correct answer is letter A. People could walk, cycle, or walk to their destinations instead. Number 4 example of type of text is cause and effect. The author tells about an event and what happens after or because of it. Cause and effect is a common way to organize information in a text. Always remember that the reasons are the causes and the thing that happens is the effect. Sample paragraph for cause and effect. Global warming is the increase in the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. It is caused by the rise in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere which leads to an increase in temperature. Global warming has been accelerated due to mass deforestation activities by man. Sample number one question. What do you think is the cause of global warming stated in the given paragraph? A. It is caused by the rise in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Or B. It is caused by the rise in oxygen levels in the atmosphere. Very good! The correct answer is letter A. It is caused by the rise in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Number 2 question. What do you think is the effect in the given paragraph? A. Deforestation or B. Global warming Great job, Southlander! The correct answer is letter B. Global warming The last example of type of text is compare and contrast. The author tells the similarities and differences about two or more topics. Compare and contrast is a text structure or pattern of organization where the similarities and differences of two or more things are explored. When you say compare, you are discussing about the similarities of the two important topics while contrast are the differences. Sample paragraph for compare and contrast. Basketball and soccer are played with a round ball. They both provide a ton of cardiovascular. Even though basketball and soccer are similar, differences do exist. Basketball player uses his hands and the soccer player uses his feet. Usually, soccer is played outside on a large field and basketball is played indoor on a court made out of wood. Basketball is played with 5 players and soccer has 11. Sample number 1 question. What is the similarity of basketball and soccer stated in the given paragraph? A. Basketball and soccer are played with a round ball. Or B. Basketball is played with 5 players and soccer has 11. Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Basketball and soccer are played with a round ball. Sample number 2 question. What is the difference of basketball and soccer stated in the given paragraph? A. Basketball and soccer are played with a round ball. 
or B. Basketball is played with 5 players and soccer has 11. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Basketball is played with 5 players and soccer has 11. And these are the different types of texts. Thank you for listening, grade 4 students!